Good morning, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be exceedingly glad in it. Welcome today. And here's what uh, God put on my heart. And you can go ahead and share this with people. If you know anybody that's sick, somebody that's struggling with sickness, disease, uh, bad diagnosis, uh, what, what was on my heart this morning is for us to spend time in healing confessions and to get equipped. You know, people are talking about virus and countries that are uh, returning back to some strict uh, regulations and shutdowns. And and you don't have to fear. You have the word of God. And I was thinking about what I said yesterday, that the faith of God is voice activated. So we're going to activate your healing. And um, no matter what's being reported, you're going to be healed. I'm believing God for healing. So share with people that you know who may need to be a part of our confession this morning so that we can believe God for miracles. I'm believing God that that uh, some people are going to get healed this morning while we're making the confessions. I believe that things uh, that's been uh, dealing with them and, and you know, pre-existing situations. I believe God's going to do something special this morning where two or three are gathered together and in his name. He said, there am I in the midst of them. And as I said yesterday, there's no time or distance in the spirit. And so God is in the midst of us. So I'm believing God for healing today. I'm believing God for a supernatural invasion of our time of confession. And while you're confessing the word, I'm just trusting God that something good is going to happen to you and you're going to be um, you're going to be healed in Jesus name. I believe God's word. I believe healing is voice activated. Oh, hallelujah. I believe healing is voice activated. And so, uh, you know, we're going to we're, we're, we're going to get Psalm 91 equipped and we're going to spend the majority of our time, if not all of our time uh giving a voice to healing and so cancer get ready to go leukemia lupus get ready to go neurological situations get ready to go arthritis pain inflammation get ready to go and i'm not and listen i'm talking about also emotional healing uh depression get ready to go um anxiety get ready to go um in the name of jesus uh you know I, I ain't playing this morning and you're not either and uh it is time to stand up against the wiles of the devil and to let him know there are believers in the earth there are people that believe god and we now understand how to activate what jesus has already made available and so I tell you why faith is so important. Faith is so important because faith is what what uh, uh, takes possession of the healing. Faith is what takes possession of what uh, Jesus has made available to us. And, and so we release our faith to take possession of what's already done rather than trying to release our faith and then credit ourselves for being able to make it happen. You see, if the blessings of the Lord if the blessings of the Lord is a result of what you did to get it, you follow what I'm saying? Then uh, you get the credit for the blessing. But if the blessing of the Lord is a gift, uh, then Jesus gets the credit for it. Amen. So if the, if the blessings of the Lord, if it is a result of what you did to get it, then you get the credit for it. But if the blessings of the Lord is a gift, then Jesus gets the credit for it. And so we receive the gift of righteousness. We receive that divine health and healing and manifestations. And Lord, we give you the glory. We give you the thanks. We give you the credit. Um, we don't take any. We give you the glory. We give you the thanks. We give you the credit. And so um, praise God. We welcome all of you. Um, and just just get a hold of this thing today where two or three shall agree. All right. Let's agree for Friday to be the day of healing. Friday will be the day of manifested healing. 
praise God. And when you go back to your doctor, you'll be able to say, I got healed confessing the word of God. I got healed because I gave voice activation to healing. And um, God is good. And some of you, I know you're getting ready to go to the bed. Some of you are, you know, it's, it's evening wherever you are. And some of you, it's morning. And uh, man, I, I command lupus to take your hands off the people of God in Jesus name. So uh, I'm a believer. You are a believer. I'll give uh, everybody a couple more minutes to, to come online. And uh, we are absolutely thankful for the word of God. The Bible in Psalms 91 will confess it. It's it's my shield. It's my shield, man. And uh, in Psalms 91, it declares some great, great things about, you know, your protection and your healing. And um, we'll start off with Psalms 91. But, uh, man, I'm excited for you. Yeah, I'm fired up this morning, too. Praise God. Man, let's give the devil a headache today. And I want you to know when you open your mouth and he hates, he hates healing. He hates, he hates even, you know, having to listen to somebody to even believe that by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. But with his stripes, you are healed in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God just put this on my heart. Um, and, and, and today, you know, before the day's over with, or some of you might go to bed, take communion, take communion, take the bread and which represents the broken body of Jesus Christ. And, and he was broken so that you can be made whole. Um, take the cup, which represents the blood of Jesus. His blood was shed for you. And we overcome the enemy by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And so we're activating the power of God. We're ap activating the supernatural power of God and all is well. It is not God's will for you to be sick. It is not God's will for you to die early. It is not God's will for you to you know, go anywhere and contract some kind of virus. That's not God's will. That's not God's will in the name of Jesus. And so we are going to speak what we believe and we're going to have what we say. Now, you ready? Speak about what we believe and we have what we say. So I send blessings to your house today and uh, I plead the blood over you right now in the name of Jesus. You're blessed today. Believe that that something good is going to happen in your physical body today. Believe that something good is going to happen in your emotions today. Believe it. Believe it. David said, I had to believe that I would receive the, the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. So while you are alive today, believe that you will receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Praise God. Here's another thing before we get started. The joy of the Lord is your strength. And joy comes by what you know. And you know that by the stripes of Jesus, you're healed. You know that by the stripes of Jesus, you are whole. You know that Jesus was broken so you could be made whole. And um, so let that bring joy. Joy is the fuse to your faith. Amen. So just brush off all of the things that have tried to distract you yesterday. I was praying for y'all. I felt that a lot of you after we talked was, you know, had a, you had to face a lot of different things that tried to get y'all focused and get you distracted. And I'm telling you, you focus on Jesus, man. Focus on Jesus. The joy of the Lord is your strength. But joy is the fuse like dynamite. You have that fuse. And when you light that fuse, it, it becomes explosive. Joy is the fuse to your faith. And when you allow yourself to realize that, you know, I have the joy of the Lord because of what Jesus has already done. I have the joy of the Lord because of what I already know and have from God's word. Well, joy is the fuse to your faith. Uh, and joy is not just, you know, being happy or, or laughing. Joy comes from what you know. And when you know you're healed and when you know you deliver it and when you know the power of God in your life, then the joy of the Lord becomes your strength. 
And uh, I'm just telling you, if you if you watch out for distractions, your days will be filled with joy. Amen. Just don't yield to them no matter what. You know, some of you had a great day yesterday and I'm glad, but I want all of us to to experience that. And and uh, God is good. All right. I'm ready. Y'all ready? Let's do it, man. This is going to be something. All right. We're going to be very, very intense and we're just going to go at it now. You ready? Psalms 91 equip and then we're going to go and, 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 and attack every sickness and every disease that has shown up in your body. Now, you can also believe this for somebody else. Now, if you can get them to start confessing this word with you, let's just believe God. I don't care how big the issue is, how small it is. Praise God. Let's go ahead and voice activate healing. The faith of God is voice activated. The healing of God is voice activated. The protection of God is voice activated. Let's activate it right now. You ready? Repeat after me. I declare that I will dwell in the shelter of the most high God. I declare that I will find rest in the shadow of the almighty. I declare that God is my refuge and my fortress. I declare that you are my God in whom I trust and with great confidence in whom I will rely. I declare that God will rescue me from every trap and protect me from every disease. I declare that I am covered and protected by his outstretched arms. I declare that God's faithful promises are my armor and my protection. Yeah. I declare that I will not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor of the arrows that fly in the day. I declare that I will not dread any disease that stalks in the darkness, nor any disaster that strikes at midday. I declare that because God is my refuge and the almighty God of my home, no evil can befall me and no plague can come near my dwelling. I declare that God has ordered his angels to guard, defend and protect me and my house. I declare that God's armies of heaven will keep me from falling. I will walk unharmed and kick anything that is evil from my path. I declare that because of God's love for me, I will call upon him. He will set me above all my troubles. He will deliver me from all my fears and he will honor me with his presence and power. I declare that he will reward me long life his salvation in Jesus name say out loud I am Psalms 91 equipped okay ready Jesus is the Lord of my life sickness and disease have no power over me I am forgiven and free from sin and guilt I am dead to sin I'm alive unto righteousness. I am free from unrighteousness and strife. And in the name of Jesus, I forgive others as Christ has forgiven me. For the love of God is shed abroad in my heart by the Holy Ghost. Jesus bore my sins in his body on the tree. Therefore, I'm dead to sin. And I'm alive unto God. And by his stripes, I am healed and made whole. Jesus bore my sickness and carried my pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain. For God sent his word and healed me. Father, because of your word, I am an overcomer. I overcome the world. I overcome the flesh and I overcome the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. You have given me abundant life. I receive that life 
through your word. It flows to every organ of my body, bringing healing and health. Heavenly Father, I attend to your word. I incline my ears to your sayings. I will not let them depart from my eyes. I will keep them in the midst of my heart, for they are life and healing to all my flesh. As God was with Moses, so is he with me. My eyes are not dim, neither are my natural forces abated. Blessed are my eyes, for they see, and my ears, for they hear. No evil will befall me, neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you have given your angels charge over me. They keep me in all my ways. In my pathway is life, healing, and health. Jesus took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. Therefore, I refuse to allow sickness to dominate my body. The life of God flows within me, bringing healing to every fiber of my being. I am redeemed from the curse. Galatians 3.13 is flowing in my bloodstream. It flows to every cell of my body, restoring life and health. The life of 1 Peter 2.24 is a reality in my flesh, restoring every cell of my body. I present my body to God, for it is the temple of the living God. God dwells in me and his life permeates my spirit, soul, and body so that I am filled with the fullness of God daily. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I make a demand on my body to release the right chemicals. My body is in perfect chemical balance. My pancreas secretes the proper amount of insulin for life and health. Heavenly Father, through your word, you have imparted your life to me. That life restores my body with every breath that I breathe and every word that I speak. That which God has not planted is dissolved and rooted out of my body in Jesus' name. 1 Peter 2.24 is engrafted in every fiber of my being, and I'm alive with the life of God. Jesus bore the curse for me. Therefore, I forbid growths and tumors to inhabit my body. The life of God within me dissolves growths and tumors, and my strength and health are restored. Growths and tumors have no right to my body. They are a thing of the past, for I'm delivered from the authority of darkness. Every organ and tissue of my body functions in the perfection that God created it to function. I forbid any malfunction in my body in Jesus' name. Father, your word has become a part of me. It is flowing in my bloodstream. It flows to every cell of my body, restoring and transforming my body. Your word has become flesh. For you sent your word and it healed me. Your word is manifested in my body, causing growths to disappear. Arthritis is a thing of the past. I make a demand on my bones and joints to function properly in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, as I give voice to your word, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus makes me free from the law of sin and death. And your life is energizing every cell of my body. Arthritis, you must go. Sickness, you must flee. Tumors can't exist in me. For the spirit of God is upon me. And the word of God is within me. Sickness, fear, and oppression have no power over me. For God's word is my confession. Thank you, Father that I have a strong heart. My heart beats with the rhythm of life. My blood flows to every cell of my body, restoring life and health abundantly. My blood pressure is 120 over 80. 
The life of God flows in my blood and cleanses my arteries of all matter that does not pertain to life. My heartbeat is normal. My heart beats with the rhythm of life, carrying the life of God throughout my body, restoring life and health abundantly. I have a strong heart. Every heartbeat floods my body with life and cleanses me of disease and pain. I command my blood cells to destroy every disease, germ, virus that tries to inhabit my body. I command every cell of my body to be normal in Jesus name. Every cell that does not promote life and health in my body is cut off from its life source. My immune system will not allow tumorous growth to live in my body in Jesus name. I'm redeemed from the curse of the law and my heart's my heart beats with the rhythm of life. The spirit and life of God's word flows in me, cleansing my blood of every disease and impurity. In Jesus name, my arteries will not shrink or become clogged. Arteries, you are clean, elastic, and function as God created you to function. The law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Therefore, I will not allow sin, sickness, or death to lord it over me. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me, permeating his life through my veins, sending healing throughout my body. In Jesus name, I forbid my body to be deceived in any manner. Body, you will not be deceived by any virus or disease germ. Neither will you work against life or health in any way. Every cell of my body supports life and health. My immune system grows stronger day by day. I speak life to my immune system. I forbid confusion in my immune system. The same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells in me and quickens my immune system with the life and wisdom of God, which guards the life and health of my body. I speak to the bones, joints of my body. I call you normal in Jesus's name. My bones and joints will not respond to any disease for the spirit of life of first Peter two twenty four permeates every bone and joint of my body with life and health. Father, I make a demand on my bones to produce perfect marrow. I make a demand on the marrow to produce pure blood that will ward off sickness and disease. My bones refuse any offense of the curse. I make a demand on my joints to function perfectly. There will be no pain or swelling in my joints. My joints refuse to allow anything that will hurt or destroy their normal function. Body, I speak the word of faith to you. I demand that every internal organ perform a perfect work, for you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, I charge you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the authority of his holy word, body, be healed and be made whole in Jesus' name. Father, I resist the enemy in every form that he comes against me. I require my body to be strong and healthy, and I enforce it with your word. I reject the curse, and I enforce life in this body. I will not die, but live and declare the works of God. You have forgiven all my iniquities. You have healed all my diseases. You have redeemed my life from destruction. 
You have satisfied my mouth with good things so that my youth is renewed as the eagles. Lord, you have blessed my food and water and have taken sickness away from me. Therefore, I will fulfill the number of my days in health. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, I am healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, so be it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody said, I am well. I am healed. I am recovered. In the name of Jesus. Now, I, I speak the anointing right now. That anointing, removing every burden and destroying every yoke. Lay hands on yourself right now and declare it right now. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Say out loud, I receive healing. Praise God. Jesus has already healed me 2,000 years ago. Say that. I'm healed. I was healed 2,000 years ago. And I thank you, Lord, that I'm well. I thank you, Lord, that I'm healed. I thank you, Lord, that the death sentence will not apply to me. I will live long and I will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, my brothers and sisters, all is well with you. All is well with you in your house. All is well with you in your physical body. And with his stripes, you are healed. Have an amazing weekend. Taff and I love you. We pray for you. We believe God with you. And we believe that the best is yet to come in your life. Well, amen. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you some Saturday night and some Sunday morning. Let's get fed that word. Amen. I love you guys. Have an amazing day today. Bye-bye.